I am going to uh, present to you a cash plus model for safe transition into a health and productive adulthood, which is an adolescent program from Tanzania. I'm going to do this presentation on behalf of the Tanzanian Adolescent Cash Plus Evaluation Team. First, I'm going to start with introduction. In Tanzania, uh, a new model of social protection is using research and evidence to improve outcome for adolescent world. The youth population uh, aged 15 to 34 is expected to increase from uh, 16.7 million uh, to 30.3 million when it comes to the year 2025. And adolescent is a unique window of opportunity whereas the investment done at this age uh, delivers triple dividend. As we all know, adolescents face many risks related to poverty, early pregnancy and marriage, violence, HIV, lack of livelihood opportunities, and cetera. And therefore, social protection can mitigate some of these risks and uh, expand the future opportunities if we design it to be uh, transformative. What is Tanzania's cash plus model? The cash, Tanzania's cash plus model was, was designed to align with the livelihood enhancement component of the Productive Social Safety Net Program, PSSN, uh, Tanzania's National Social Protection Program. This program targets girls and boys aged 14 to 19 years old uh, from housing benefiting from the PSSN program. And this program started in the year 2018. The program has a four component, which includes training. And this training is, uh, is comprises of livelihood and sexual reproductive health and rights, including HIV, gender-based violence, and it normally takes 12 weeks. The second component is a productive grant, where upon the completion of the training, uh, each beneficiary receives eight uh, 80 US dollars to start a safe livelihood activity. Third component is mentorship and coaching, whereas uh, after receiving the, the productive grant, they are taken into nine, nine months of uh, uh, mentorship and coaching where they access locally available opportunities facilitated by community-based mentors. And lastly, there is a referral where uh, Adolescent friendly uh, healthy services referral is strengthened, as well as uh, referral to the uh, local extension services for the income generating activity that they have uh, started. Topics covered during these trainings are divided into two parts. The first part is the livelihood component, where uh, our beneficiaries learn uh, on dreams and how to set the life goals. They are also trained on entrepreneurship skills, how to develop business plans, record keeping and savings. And the second component, which is health component uh, covering HIV, sexual reproductive health and GBV, the topics include coping with puberty, relationships, HIV knowledge prevention and protection, pregnancy and family planning, violence and gender-based violence, addressing negative gender attitude and norms, alcohol and drugs, and healthy living and nutrition. And after the revision of the program, we've also added the parenting part because most of these uh, adolescents are also uh, parents. But prior to implementation of this program, uh, a research was done uh, to ensure that the implementation was guided by uh, the, the research where a randomized control trial was conducted prior to scaling up the program to other areas. And uh, 130, 130 villages, which are also called as clusters, from four districts in two regions 
were selected and divided into two parts. First part, which included 65 villages, uh, was treatment arm, and the other 65 villages were control arm. And what was done is that for the uh, control arm, they only received the normal uh, productive social safety net uh, services, which included conditional cash transfers, Whereas for the uh, for the treatment arm, they received uh, the the normal condition of cash transfers plus the plus component, which included the trainings on the on the livelihood and income generating activities for adolescents, as well as uh, the health component, which included HIV, gender based violence, and sexual reproductive health. And for the randomized control trial, the Aspects that were evaluated included economic activities, schooling, aspiration, expectation, and attitudes, mental health, especially the depressive symptoms and stress, gender equitable attitudes, marriage and partnerships, sexual behavior and HIV knowledge and testing, access to sexual reproductive health, transactional sex, and violence. So far, uh, four, four waves of data collection have been conducted, uh, starting with the baseline, midline, web three, and web four. And today I'm going to share with you the web three uh, findings, where on the positive aspect, a lot of positive findings were uh, recorded, including uh, Adolescent friendly services provision at the health facility level increased. There was also an increase in the positive program impact on sexual reproductive health and HIV knowledge. There was improvement in, in, in gender equitable attitudes, especially among male beneficiaries. There was also an increase in livelihood, likelihood of having started a business and hours spent in livestock keeping. Increase in the mental health uh, improvement, entrepreneurial attitudes, self-esteem, HIV testing, and increase to the health facilities. Delayed age at sexual debut, especially among the females, and reduction in sexual and violence, sexual violence and the physical violence perpetration, especially among males as well. However, uh, we noted uh, some drop in secondary school attendance, mainly among older adolescents aged 18 to 19, and this was recorded between the midline and the wave three evaluation. Nevertheless, the qualitative findings suggested these drops were due to combination of factors and not just cash plus intervention. And there was no subsequent effect on education attainment among all uh, participants. We did not, however, see impact on marriage and cohabiting, likelihood that adolescent had a girlfriend or boyfriend, perceived the risk, and this was of concern to us. Transactional sex and indicator, um, indicators among unmarried adolescent who currently had uh, sexually debuted and se risk sexual behaviors. What did we learn? The lesson we learned from this was that one, uh, the cash plus uh, interventions were a unique combination of economic and health strengthening component. And this uh, was like, or it or brought a large interest to most of the youth beneficiaries. And the results we obtained from this uh, had a very high level of generalizability because the PSCN is implemented nationally among similar population. And also this program was implemented through the government structures. However, we had uh, some uh, revision were found important, especially on the curriculum. And the main areas that required uh, some revision was uh, on the focus, uh, we needed to, re to revise the focus of the curriculum to include more focus on the importance of the education and the opportunity for vocational training and apprenticeship. 
Two, to put more emphasis on continued strengthening of the linkage to HIV and its sexual reproductive health services for adolescents. And lastly, to add topics on parenting skills, as some of them uh, had already uh, started being parents. And we needed to do more follow-up to continue following up for further understanding uh, sustainability of the impact of these interventions and to ascertain if the, the, the drop we saw in education was really because of the intervention. Way forward, the program has been scaled up in seven more districts in four regions and the, is targeting uh, to reach 8,500 adolescents in the all uh, 11 districts where the program is currently being implemented. The program was redesigned and training manuals were updated to focus on out of school adolescents. And costing start is currently underway to ensure that scale up looks at both behavioral impact of which we have, we have heard evidence as the evaluation uh, suggested and the financing part. Lastly, I would like to acknowledge uh, Tanzania Commission for AIDS, TACAIDS, TASAF, EDI Global, UNICEF, and the University of Buffalo for allowing its staff to take part in this uh, implementation of the program as well as evaluation. And specifically for the cash plus evaluation team, we would like to acknowledge uh, Professor Tia Palemo from University of Buffalo, who is the co-principal investigator, UNICEF Office of Research, uh, Valeria Grupo, Lusaje Kajura, Lea Principe, and Jennifer Wilder. From EDI Global, we would like to acknowledge Johanna Nkolo, who is a co-principal investigator, Respicious Meat, who is also co-principal investigator, and Boke Monanka. From TASA, we would like to acknowledge Paul Chamber, Tumpe Mnyawami Lukongo. From TASA, Arodia Mulokos, and from UNICEF Tanzania, uh, Eureka Gilbert, Paul Ufford, Rike Kikigeld and Frank Etama. We would also like to thank uh, the support we, fund, we, we got on funding this intervention from Oak Foundation. Additional funding that came from UK Department of International Development, DFID, Swedish Development Cooperation Agency, as well as uh, Irish Aid. Thank you so much for listening. Lastly, I would like to share with you uh, the few emails. My email, if you have any further question, follow-up question. And also we had uh, prepared some animation of the program, which is uh, available through that uh, link that had been shown there. Full report as well, as well as a brief reports for the evaluation. Thank you so much and welcome for questions.